arresting the police watchdog's independence under the spotlight. McBride's lawyer says his suspension will compromise IPIT's independence and could affect public confidence in it. Given that IPIT's function is to investigate complaints of misconduct by the SAPs and to maintain effective oversight of SAPs, it's essential that it remains strictly independent of the SAPs. And your lordship is aware that the Minister of Police is responsible for SAPs. McBride was threatened with suspension after he was said to have tempered with reports into Anwar Dramat's alleged involvement in the illegal rendition of Zimbabwean nationals. The minister's lawyer says it was premature of McBride to approach the High Court as the minister had not taken any action against him except to ask McBride why he should not be suspended. Whilst making the representation, he then preempts the decision of the minister by launching these proceedings, effectively seeking to prevent the minister from taking a decision that he himself has made representations to eat to pursue the minister, not to place him on suspension. Written heads of arguments will be submitted by both parties on Monday. A ruling is expected on Wednesday. Meanwhile, there was confusion earlier about the status of the Hawks boss. Reports that Dramat had resigned were denied. What happened is that the minister was talking to a radio station and he made a reference to the letter that General Dramat had written to him in December. And in this letter, General Dramat had indicated that he'd like to discuss his possible exit from the police. That is the discussion that they had. There is nothing new from General Dramat uh, resigning from the police. Dramat's lawyers declined to comment, saying the matter is sub judice. The police minister had applied for leave to appeal the court ruling to reinstate him. Offered Zestimo, SABC News, Pretoria.